Hey guys, welcome back to Toby Show. <laughs> so guys, today's episode is going to be crazy. Um, well, I'm going to be ranting, which is a shocker. Um, first, well, this is a guy. First of all, this random dude I've never even known messages me on Messenger. And he's like, please take my virginity on this shit. And I'm like, I don't even freaking know you. I don't. I don't. Yeah, I don't. And he's all this stuff. And I'm just like, then <laughs> this married man. Okay. So this guy messages me. And I approve. I was originally looking for like, maybe from, from the benefits or whatever. So this guy, I mean, we're talking about maybe hanging out. Seeing me vibe, seeing give me we can be friends and benefits or whatever. And then the dude's like, well, you know, all you have to get a hotel of all this and then he throws me a oh, just letting you know I'm married. The problem with you and I'm like the fuck I'm like, you're married? Oh hell, here we go. And then I'm like, I am not gonna be a I'm not gonna be a homewrecker. I'm not. <laughs> I believe in karma. Like, if I was married and I had a husband and he's like cheating on me and shit, I'd be really mad. I'm like, what the fuck? So, mm hmm. And so he's like still wanting me to hang out with him and shit. And I just, my mind's, I need to block this dude because I'm not gonna be no one's side piece. No, I won't. Mm hmm. I'll be damned. Because I believe in karma. Yes, I do. Mm hmm. Where's my fucking messenger? Mm hmm. I just, I just don't understand people at all that like, let's see, like y'all, I just don't understand people that like do this shit, I'm like, why the fuck did you even get married if you just want to be like being a hoe, and then say <laughs> your partner in trouble again with you, you know? I just, I just don't understand that shit. Like that. I'm just like the other random motherfucker. That yeah, just reminds me. I need to block his ass. It's not. I'm not gonna put up with that shit. I'm not. I'm like, I'm like, I don't fucking know you. So. And I'm like, <laughs> the fact that this older man's wanting to take his virginity. No, no. And I asked them, like, how'd you find me? He said, oh, I found your website. And I'm like, motherfucker, I know you full of shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll be damned. I'm not going to be no one's side piece. Mm-hmm. Let me see. Double check. What else I need to rock? I am... Um, I also, this other dude I was talking to, um, <laughs> he, we met on Facebook dating, and anyway, his, he was a hot ass mess, he's like, mid-30s, he got divorced, he's, you know, homeless, he's been in and out being homeless, and he got like three teens, all this shit, I blocked him, because I'm not, I'm not doing this shit, you know, I'm not. Yeah, like, I need a man that's consistent, has her shit together, you know, that man can have to fucking babysit, basically. Because I'm not doing that shit, guys, I'm not. This episode is not that long, but I'm like, I'm being consistent with, with posting episodes. <laughs> Excuse me. Mm hmm. Which is good for me. Um, a lot of people are. Looking forward to Thanksgiving. I'm kind of not because well let me it's gonna be a week my parents they they're in Belize. So I think I usually go over to their house, but that's not happening this year because they're in Belize until next month. Um basically the moral of my story is about the whole married man thing. It's like don't be a side piece. Karma's a bitch. What goes around comes around. Like, how would you feel if you were in this situation? You found out that your husband or partner was cheating on you and shit. Yeah. Immoral, 
of the story is if you want to marry someone, but you want to be out there being a hoe and cheating, then save your partner the heartbreak and just don't marry them. Like, is that fucking hard? I mean, it shouldn't be that hard, guys. It shouldn't. Um, yeah, that's basically what I'd say. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, anything else? Mine's I had this lovely pimple on my face, but. But he was crazy. I was, I was entertaining the idea of messing with this married man, but then, like I said, karma's a bitch because someone comes around, and I wouldn't want that to happen to me ever in a gazillion years. <laughs> and I'm gonna end on this note. When my mom got with my dad, I he was married, and my mom didn't know he was married. So I would never want me to be in this situation ever. Love you guys. Peace. Mm -hmm.